So Lemon Cake, uh, not on Xbox Game Pass, by the way, not on Xbox Game Pass, Cozy Bee Games, uh, indie developer, I believe it's a woman out of Canada. The game came out maybe around nine months ago, I want to say, and it was on PC for probably a year before that. So it's a PC port to Xbox. 30 US dollars is the price. On PC, it's actually 15 on Steam. And that's got to be one of, for me, uh, the biggest hurdles to purchasing this game and uh, my thoughts on it. I understand that there are uh, many costs associated with making and developing games, publishing them um, on any platform. And those costs are increased whenever you port a game from PC to console and have to also publish it, market it. So companies can set whatever prices they need to recoup their costs and to profit. I have no problem with that. But on the consumer side, for me, that was one of the biggest hurdles uh, to overcome uh, uh, if I was going to purchase this game. The second uh, thing I really enjoyed, it's a bakery uh, time management type of sim. I've been in the game for 87 game days, which is probably somewhere between 10 and 12 minutes. I don't know, a game day, maybe a little bit longer. I have fully uh, upgraded the bakery amenities as far as how many uh, to-go displays there are, um, having both tables, having the front of house assistant, uh, having all three ovens, the automated broom to clean up, and all the ingredients with the sprinklers in the back and the rail cart uh, to carry some ingredients around. So it's a good game, well thought out, well designed. Um, it ported well, except I think for controller, I, I consistently have issues where the hitboxes don't necessarily register. Um, even when I know I'm lined up right, I don't know if you could see it there, but that first ingredient wasn't going in when I was originally uh, pressing uh, the button. So hats off to the developer. I think uh, she created a fantastic little game. It's very Groundhog Day, uh, in my opinion, when you wake up at 8 o'clock every morning. I guess it's kind of like working at a real bakery, uh, except getting up at 8 a.m. probably isn't, a, isn't an option for most bakers. But um, you wake up at 8 a.m. every morning, you come downstairs, you might prep the uh, food service for the day, you open up, you race around the kitchen and the ingredients room if necessary uh, to prepare all the items for the uh, to-go customers if you want to make extra money and the uh, dine-in customers uh, just to advance through the stages and then uh, lather, rinse, repeat. I'm, I'm done. I, I don't have any more in me. I'm not a, the achievement hunter who, who has to um, have perfection in games. I'm missing two achievements, which would take me 10 more levels to probably unlock. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good with the game. I've experienced everything at this point. I want out of it. Uh, maybe in the future I would come back to it. But for me, that's got to be uh, outside of the price point on console, uh, one of the biggest uh, obstacles to uh, this game is the uh, repetitiveness. And I appreciate how you unlock uh, amenities like the broom, the front of house, the sprinklers. That actually kept me going much longer than it would have, uh, than the game would have without those. So... Uh, do I recommend the game? Yeah, if, if you're into this kind of bakery time management simulator, I, I think it's a 
good, very good game, very fun. Um, but you know, I I would have a hard time myself saying thirty dollars is is a good price point on the Xbox console, and uh, you know the replayability for me, I think the factor is very low, and I think it would be for most people. Um, you may take some time off, months or something, to decide, oh, I'll give it another run. But, uh, yeah. So, I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has played it, if you agree or disagree with my thoughts, whether you're on PC or console, if you think the $30 price point. Again, you know, developers and all the costs associated with it, I understand I'm not not dinging them for uh, the price point. I'm just saying from the consumer side, it's, it's a little steep to me. But uh, yeah, comments below. Thanks.